So uh, the next step would be to create your first hot wallet and acquire some crypto to fund it. Um, I will be generating a web wallet or browser extension wallet. Um, those used to be the most convenient way of interacting with third-party applications, decentralized applications such as exchanges, lending, borrowing protocols. I think um, smartphone wallets have matched them in utility. If if not, they might be even better. Uh, but I will leave this as an exercise to you to create, you know, a, a mobile wallet because it is much easier for me to record on my computer and not on my smartphone. Uh, I will be using Rabi, another perhaps the most popular uh, option here is MetaMask, but I like the uh, way Rabi deals with um, uh, transaction information and it has some other advanced features that I tend to favor. Um, Always do your own research. Don't take my word for it. And as a final um, note of caution, hot wallets are less secure. Don't put in them more that, than you can afford. Think of them as your physical wallet you put in your pocket. Uh, do not put your entire net worth. But again, they're convenient for interacting uh, with um, applications in the decentralized uh, space. So go to your preferred search engine and type in, again, as I said, we'll be using Rabi Wallet as an example. So feel free to follow along, type in Rabi Wallet or MetaMask or what have you. Uh, make sure that you're not clicking on any ads. If you have uh, an ad block installed, that is even better. And make sure that you're on the official website. Double check you're on the official website. In the case of Rabi, it is rabby.io. Click on the website. You have several, one of several options here. You can download the wallet, the browser extension, which is what uh, we will be doing. Uh, you have uh, the option of a desktop wallet and a mobile wallet, which is still in progress. Uh, we will download the uh, extension. It says here download for Chrome, although I'm using uh, Brave. Brave is a Chromium based browser, so this works for our purposes. I click on download Chrome. Again, I make sure I double check that I it is the correct uh, app. Uh, you can check the reviews, you can double check the link on the uh, Rabi social media and so on. And then I click uh, add to Brave, add extension. And you can interface with your wallet by uh, clicking on the extensions here. You can pin it so that it always uh, shows uh, first. Okay, so let's start by setting up our wallet. I click on the wallet extension and the first thing that will come up are some welcome screens with information about uh, Rabi. Um, I just uh, move through them. When you first set up your wallet, you will be faced with a few different options. You can create a new uh, uh, master key, a new seed phrase, which is a human readable uh, master key. You can import a seed phrase if you already have it or an individual child, a private key. Uh, you can import a MetaMask account, connect uh, any of several hardware wallets or mobile wallets as well as uh, institutional wallets such as uh, Safe or uh, Cobo Argus. I will now move forward with creating uh, a new wallet, a new seed phrase. Uh, first, you need to create a password, which is the first line of defense for anyone that is uh, sitting at your computer and attempts to access uh, your crypto. It simply locks your wallet behind a simple, easy to remember <coughs> uh, password. This has nothing to do with your SID phrase, which is the actual key to your cryptocurrency. Uh, a good practice here is to store your password separately from your SID phrase or even use something that is memorable and not write it down at all. Remember, at the end of the day, you do not need this password to access your cryptocurrency. All you need is your seed phrase because at any point you can restore your wallet from a seed phrase and choose a new password. So I will be generating, I will be inputting a, an easy to remember uh, password here. I have read the 
uh, terms of use, of course, and click uh, next. Now, <clears throat> uh, this screen contains uh, some information on the importance of backing up your uh, said phrase. You can uh, pause if you like to read it, but I will not be doing it now. I click on said phrase. Now, those are the 12 words that are my master uh, key. Okay, those are the 12 words that I can use to access and restore my wallet at any time. What I will be doing is, again, anyone who has access to those 12 words has access to my crypto. I will be now using pen and paper to write those 12 words down very extremely carefully and double check that they are correct. I will be then storing this piece of paper one copy in a secure location and another copy in another secure location and not talk to anyone about this because anyone who has access to those 12 words can access my cryptocurrency. So I will now be very carefully transcribing what I see on this screen. If I lose access to those 12 words and uninstall the browser extension, then I have no way of recovering my cryptocurrency wallet. So I will, again, be transcribing those words very carefully. I will be uh, numbering them and transcribing them. So the, you can take this process to an extreme. There are some products that allow you to etch those words on uh, steel uh, to make them more uh, resistant to water damage or other forms of uh, uh, you know, deterioration. But I think for the purposes of a hot wallet, just using pen on paper works well. Um, it can survive for hundreds of years, okay? So I've written down those words on a piece of paper like so. As you can see here, I will create a separate copy. I will now double check that those words are correct, okay? Very carefully. If I mess this up, there is no way for me to recover my crypto. Okay, now here it gives you the option to copy your seed phrase and store it somewhere on your computer. If you're storing a very small amount of crypto, which you are comfortable with losing, you can potentially store those in a password manager. Again, I would recommend against this I think going the pen and paper out is uh, much better. But again, if it's a very small, a tiny amount that will not affect your bottom line, you could potentially uh, store it uh, in a password manager, okay? I've saved the phrase. And what it does now is generate a series of private keys, as we have discussed from this master key, uh, each with its own public address. It is sufficient to just add one for now. And I can click on the right hand side to show the to retrieve the on chain information. Of course, this key will be empty as I just created this uh, said phrase and I can then click done. And Again, I can interface with my wallet by just clicking on the rabbit icon here. Um, well, as we have established, wallets help you send, receive a crypto. And this particular one has some advanced features such as checking your approvals to decentralized applications or natively allowing you to swap uh, cryptocurrency.